Hello friends, it's another A Budget Bestie. This time, of course, for the king, it is uh, <laughs> kind of a dungeon crawler, like a hex-based turn, turn by turn, what is that, turn-based <laughs> strategy game, uh, dungeon crawler RPG thing? Kind of like a board game, honestly, even. Um, it's a little D&D-ish, and it is 20 bucks on Steam, so pretty good price, and I'm sure, as always, you could probably find it on sale if you waited a little bit. Uh, so it is single player or online co-op. Uh, I believe it's always up to three players here, uh, where you could have friends controlling different boys, but for now, we got me, we got John, he's a blacksmith class, uh, kind of more of a tanky fella. We got Hermes. He's a hunter. He's got bunny ears. It's great. And then we got my brother, Nick. He's a scholar, so like a little wizard. But, um, and let's just jump right into it so you can see what this whole thing is. This is kind of like the main mode, kind of like the story mode thing. It's titled for the king so um it's basically just a setup scenario um that you can kind of get the whole feel of the um the greater spectrum because there are a few of these um and then i think there might even just like be random uh games you can play through anyway the brink of chaos Good King Bronner has been slain. The once peaceful kingdom of Farul is being corrupted by wild chaos energy and ravaged by monsters and bandits. The grieving Green Ro Green? Queen Rosamon has called for Farul's ordinary citizens to search the land for the king's murderer and the source of the chaos energy. The tale now begins in the Guardian Forest, where there have been rumors of suspicious activity and sinister strangers in the woods. Three would-be heroes meet in Orton to begin their quest. Bum, bum, bum. And there you go. There's the queen, and we're on the board here. Uh, and she's talking to us about something, I'm sure. <laughs> First the wizard Vexor vanishes, then my own husband was slain in his palace. You may be the last hope of Farul. Seek out Hildebrand in Woodsmoke. You'll be told how to... How best to aid our efforts. Your quest has begun. Strive against this chaos, lest our realm be consumed by it. Go to Woodsmoke in the Guardian Forest. Alrighty. Then we get some random monster spawns. And uh, based on their kind of position in my party, they kind of uh, randomly roll for movement. Uh, how many hexes they can move in the turn. Um, and based on the class some have more movement points by default than others i want to look at what this carnival is uh let's see wow maybe not is this this i feel like the dark carnival you might have to go to at night i want to go to the carnival though um so the way that this works is i basically go turn by turn can do one action essentially for each of my little boys um and then the turn uh the time progresses and like the monsters can do things and it can like turn to night and such but right now i think i'm just going to go right here uh, and attack this beastman to get some xp maybe get some items and stuff um and you can see like this like little red zone around is like anything in that area be it friend or foe would be pulled into this battle so right now i've got all my friends here 
And I've got a few different actions I can take. Um, fight is just start the combat. Ambush, I could try and get the best of him and like get a surprise attack. Sneak is trying to get past him and obviously retreat his run away. But this guy's not very good at sneaky, sneaky stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and fight him. Um, starting off with Hermes, because he's basically got high initiative, essentially. And he's got a few different things he could do. He can run away, which, again, I don't want to do that. I could just do a bow shot, or I could do a piercing shot. Um, the benefit to, like, the piercing is if this thing had armor, it would ignore that. Um, but he doesn't, so. I got two out of three successes on my rolls there, which kind of, um influences how good you do on your damage or like whether you hit it all or not so that one was a perfect thing so he, this also would have as well pierced armor Oof, that was terrible but luckily he was pretty low uh but again he doesn't have armor so i'm just gonna share the gold i got across the party so everybody has a little something something let's see Going to this thing uh, gives additional XP, as you can see there, and it also refills my focus, which is a resource I can use. It's down here um, that, if I use it now, grants me additional movement points, or if I use it in combat, it makes me have successes no matter what. So right now, I don't think I want to do that. I might just use one to get to town to meet with that guy. Hildebrandt. Always good to see new faces join the quest. I am Hildebrandt, the queen's agent overseeing things in the Guardian Forest. Things are bad here. Really bad. All signs point to some evil folk who have locked themselves away in the glittering mines. Over there. I'll work on getting you down there. In the Nope, that's actually something different. <laughs> in the meantime, a strange contraption has been spotted. Go investigate it. Alrighty. And some angry folks in fancy robes have made themselves right at home. Be best prepare for a good fight. Kill the chaos leader in the Guardian Forest. And can do those in any order. Also look at the quest board. Reduce chaos um, as the reward is kind of an overall objective throughout this whole thing. These purple things add to like a chaos meter and if it gets too high, things go bad. Right now I don't have any so I don't really need to do that. Gold is gold and item is an item. Uh, I always liked that, getting items. So he's also right there, so that is a good thing. He could basically be anywhere in the forest. And this guy's turn is done now. So we will move on. I think, let's see, yeah, I want everybody involved in that combat, so I'm not going to go to him right now. I think I'm just going to use some of my focus to get out here in one turn. Ooh. Um, so this is just like a random thing I happened upon. I could get some good stuff if I'm able to pass the skill check, essentially. Although, um, the chance of failure for this guy is pretty high because he's not the best in like the brain category. You can see down here are all like his skills. Uh, he's got 46 brain power, which is pretty low. So I'll leave this for now and let my wizard man probably do that. And I'll just get some free XP here and refill my focus. Uh, probably pump a couple more move points in. Let's see, can I... S I hope that's in range of this guy for next turn. Uh, but I'll end that turn. And then for this friend... Is there any... Oh, well, there is a quest I should get here, too. Glad I remembered. Ooh, iron foil hat. Kill the bandit in the Guardian Forest. Okay. So probably make that kind of looped in with uh, going over the little chaos generator. And for this guy, he didn't do great on his movement, but I can get out to this runestone. So... Uh, 
I think I'll try to... Oh, okay. Uh, I was going to say try to use some of my focus points to make this easier, but apparently with this thing you can't focus, so it's just a matter of luck. Hey, and we lucked out. My my scholar here, Nick... Um, which way do I got to go? You can see he has 78 brain points down, down there, so he, he was much more likely to succeed in that. Uh, and that's his turn, and I think that went pretty well. Okay. So we got our whole crew there, and I will... Oh, another random thing. Friendly camper. Hunter is roasting fresh game over campfire. You are invited to share the bounty. Uh, no reason not to try. My blacksmith is pretty good at heart-based stuff. I don't know if that actually did anything, because I was already full health, but... You know, it's fine. Uh, and for this... I could get it to 45% chance of ambush on this guy. Uh, I don't love that, so I'll probably just fight. Ow. It's a bad roll. Okay, Hermes is a little low, which I don't love. None of these guys have armor. And they're all the same health right now, so no reason not to just go for Gusto. Hmm. It'd be nice if I would be able to take all of, or take this guy out, because he's got five health left, but this thing does a maximum of, of four, so I guess I will... Maybe just use one focus to try and guarantee this guy going down. And just do a big old smash to probably take this guy out in one. So then we only have one more round of damage on our friends here. Hopefully, anyway. I don't think he'll survive another full round of our boys. Oof, that wasn't great, though. As long as I don't fully miss here, we're good. And that's one quest down, and we got the hooked sword, which will be a very good thing for um, myself here, the barbarian, or not barbarian, the blacksmith. And we can share the gold. Dancing nettle, use this herb while traveling to gain plus two movement. Uh, too slow. Um, I guess I'm kind of slow, but it seems like the wizard has been moving slow. Uh, Paranax, use this herb to cure one poison, bleeding, disease, and all elemental effects. I'll give that to myself. And have one more movement point to spend. So I guess I'll just... Let's see, this guy's level one. How close are we to level one? Not very. That guy's level two. Hmm. Don't know that I want to go fully out there then. I might try and get some... Oh, nice. Just got some extra movement points at random, so that's all good. Might try and get one more fight with this crow <laughs> before we get out there. Hmm. Just kind of sit here, I guess. Not a terribly interesting turn for him. Because I want everybody involved in this fight. So we can actually get XP. Don't love go going out of my way to do this, but... I also don't want to rush into a fight that's above our pay grade. <laughs> nice. Took one out right off the bat to limit... Ooh, nice. Some damage here. Nothing too terrible there. Uh, I'll probably just try and take another one out. And do... So, um, I've got my hooked sword out now. 
on the blacksmith. So I've got new actions I can take. I could try and uh, make them all focus on the blacksmith here as a bit more tankier or just do a different type of um, attack that does more damage um, or uh, reduce their accuracy. Nice. <laughs> It's a lot of overkill for a six health thing. Share the gold, teleport scroll. Uh, so the, you can use this to just bamf yourself across the map and it scales with your brain smarts. So it's kind of better on the wizard. I'll give that to this dude just cause why not? Still not level one, not really even close, honestly. Luckily, there's another fight here. And pop myself out as far as I can go. That should still be within that guy's range. Hopefully, Nick rolls reasonably high. And then another turn for the blacksmith. All right, dope. So now you'll see that this pixie will join the fight here because it's within the radius. Um, so it'll be a little harder. Ooh, and it buffed that guy up. So let's see, that'll ch uh, reduce any damage it takes for the next hit to zero. So doing some AOE on that might be a good idea. And just take out the pixie. Well, do my best anyway to take out the pixie. Um, hmm. This isn't going to take him out. So I might try to target this thing instead of doing AoE, because doesn't have enough damage to kill him. It only does a max of four and it's got two magical resistance. So I might just do the single target on it, but it completely missed. So that's just perfect. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'll just stab the pixie. It's incredible overkill, but whatever. And this is going to do no damage. But at least it got through its resistance. Not the best fight in the world. Oh, dope. Got lucky there. Uh, just from a tank ability. Okay, that, that turned it around a good bit. Share that. And... I don't think he has any movement left, so I guess we're getting on with the getting on. Energy boost. Don't really care about that. Don't think. Eh, there's another statue out there, though. Eh, I might just use it to explore a bit more. Okay. So I can boost my focus to use all of it that I have remaining on this guy, which will be nice. So I can get there right now, get some additional XP, and refill the focus fully. Uh, not wasting anything. All right, so our scholar Nick now is level one, so that is good. I'm feeling a little bit better. Ooh, ambush. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. Um, Especially when he does that. Um, with mm, That's not great, though. Uh, my blacksmith having a nice weapon upgrade. Yeah, okay. Not terrible. Collect the coins. Mm. Why not just use that right now to get my focus back? And move on out. Hmm. 
I might honestly just bring him here and then do nothing. I do get a little bit of HP when I don't use all my movement. Oh, man, the night market, I guess, is the thing I was thinking of that you have to use at night. Uh, let's go here and then just wait. I think I'll just wait on this guy, heal up a little bit. And then Hermes, who is slightly sneakier, I'll take into here. <laughs> and roll the dice on an ambush. Dope. That is big. That was not entirely likely to happen, 37%, but uh, I'm going to get a full round of damage here without them getting to do much. So that is dope. Uh, so with that... Unfortunately, Herm doesn't have a ton of damage, so he's not going to be able to fully take. Oof, especially with that kind of roll. Any of these guys out before they get to go, but I'll do what I can to whittle one of them down. Not bad? Mm, kind of bad. <laughs> and then I think an A... Oy. Hey, we might be nice. Oh, God. All right. Let's just try and take this guy out, huh? Okay. Good roll on that. Oof, we're getting lots of kind of crits on them, though. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's see who's next. Is that the... Is that the leader? Uh, okay. Uh, do, 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 he's got nine left. Let's just try another AoE. Good crit. Ooh, okay. <laughs> so my, uh, my man has died, which I think there is a way to, yeah bring people back. I feel like I need him this fight, which I probably do, if we're being honest. But I also want to try and take this guy out before he gets a chance to go. So hopefully it attacks. Yeah, and I'll use this guy's this guy's action to revive. So I've got hearts up here that I can spend to revive people. Probably not great that I used it this early, honestly, but I think there are ways to get them back. Um, okay. What a waste of a turn. I was going to try and taunt him, so that didn't happen. <laughs> but it did. Uh, let's just try and burn him. Oof. Terrible. Oh my god. <laughs> this is not going well at all. Uh, burn him? Like, oh my good. Oh, thank god. Thank god for the dodge. Uh, okay. Uh, let's use a focus here. Trying to end this. I probably went into this too early. Book of Lore. Unlock secrets throughout the land. Interesting. <laughs> Let's see. Loot. That does some damage. It's not really meant for this class too much. But it does a bit more damage and has a few different skills to it. And our guy's not bad with, like, the little juggle scale. Let's see. He's got 70. <laughs> so why not? Decent loot. Thanks for dealing with those pointy-hatted weirdos, but I have a feeling we won't be seeing the last of them. Chaos diminished. We didn't have any chaos before. Uh, revive. <laughs> Let's see. I think we're probably just gonna mosey on back. Get some extra XP here, maybe. Yeah, it probably wasn't gonna work, but I don't really 
I think this goblin's gonna do too much. I guess it's an imp. So. Went with it. Uh, let's see. This is the only thing that actually does damage. Unless you dodge. Unless I dodge. <laughs> This guy's annoyingly fast, though. <laughs> Maybe this was dumb. Get some extra gold. Permanent plus two to evasion. Interesting. I'll probably give that to Hermes once he's not dead. And bring myself back here a little bit. Who's this guy? Respawn but lose XP. I mean, I don't have a choice, so put him in a Wharton. Trainer. Increases player stats for gold. I don't feel like I'm smart enough to do that. Dead adventurer. Loot. Teleport scroll. Always good. And I'll bring myself here for a fight. I need to heal up for real, though. I don't exactly remember how that works. <laughs> Which is bad. Hmm. Did you try and take out the wolf? Okay. Everybody wants to kill Hermes! <laughs> Stop doing this to my rabbit. Unfortunately, I'm out of lives, <laughs> so <laughs> this is going terribly. Uh, da, da, da. Let's use that to heal and then test my skills. Dive into the deep pool. Gain one item. Well, the best. Equip. Okay, so it'd be cool if we could get Hermes back. <laughs> Alright, what's this weird carnival about? Oh. So I'm going to go to this thing, which apparently will give me more XP. That's fun. You can only have one of those little totem majiggers active at one any one time. Uh... But I haven't seen any others, so no reason not to do it. You've stumbled upon a luring pool. Discover multiple alluring pools to instantly travel between them. That's cool. Yes, that's fine. <laughs> uh, this is not going well. I'm gonna yeet my movement as much as I can here. to try and get close to this little ancient ruins. Uh, I'm not great at I, but hopefully I can do it. Nope. <laughs> Jelly cube. Run away. Not great. Ah, poison's annoying. Run away. Bye. <laughs> I don't want to fight that thing on my own. Yeah, I need to look at my inventory here. Get as close as I didn't mean to use the focus there. Whoopsie. Can to both of these things. Uh, I believe it is night now, so the night market will be an option soon. What is the inventory button? Do I have anything on this guy? Hmm. No. That cures poison. It must be on one of the others. You can share stuff between your boys, but they have to, like, be adjacent to each other, I think. So now I'm just going to be taking poison damage until I can get it cleared, which is sad. Uh, let's go to the night market. Let's see. Coward's Clover. You can flee from combat. 
Cure all ailments. How much money do we have? 29. Carnival ticket. <laughs> I want to go to the carnival. <laughs> it's probably stupid, but I want to go to the carnival. It's like all my money. All right. He's still dead. <laughs> and let's go into here. Oh, I thought this was a fight. Mm, I'm not going to use this on that guy then. Back to the carnival, boys. <laughs> Oh, man. This guy's my strongest boy, so I'll try it on him. Attempt! Ayo! Uh, let's get plus one life. <laughs> so we can revive Hermes when he's finally back. I've managed to open the glittering mine. Head down there when you are good and ready. Oh, and if you can spare some time, I forgot something during my last uh, business trip. Please collect it and bring it back to me. Go to Fresh Grave. That's an interesting business trip in the Guardian Forest. Yay! Uh, is one of these closer? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's the same. Uh, let's just put them here because I want to. And put him here. Everything appears that it's normal, yet things could rapidly... Nope, change rapidly for the worse. Pray go about your quest. Chaos increases. Enemy health now at 100... 110%. Uh, chaos is creeping into the land. Let's take out this weird rat. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Because <laughs> he's going to pull in that guy, and I don't know that I want to fight both of them. Uh, leave that. To the carnival! <laughs> nope, fresh grave. To the carnival! I have a ticket. Fine, it's on the other guy, I guess. Thanks, I had a feeling I'm going to be needing this soon. One shuffle. Here's something for your shovels. Camp thing. We can use that to heal. At least in dungeons. Ooh, a mystery spot. Dark carnival, baby! Alright. <laughs> play, 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 play. Can do the mystery box. The mystery box with a haunted house. I want to do the mystery box. Didn't do great, so I lose all XP, baby! Yeah, glad I paid for that! <laughs> Oh, goodness. Well, um, that sucked. <laughs> and I'm doing very badly, but, um, this game is kind of, it's got like a roguelike almost feel to it. It's definitely a learn as you go thing. Um, and this for the king scenario you almost certainly won't win the first time uh, it's pretty long there are a bunch of different areas and different dungeons and um i've actually never beaten it i've gotten i think to the final encounter once but uh, it's been a while since i played this uh, so i'm doing terribly right now um so you can definitely get hit with things like that at the dark carnival but i think it's very fun um it may seem a little intimidating with all of the menus and stuff, um, but to some extent, the game can kind of take care of a lot of it uh, on its own. And while you may not do things optimally uh, your first few times, uh, the mechanics of it are, are pretty easy, as you saw. Just kind of fun clicking around and exploring. So that's for the king. Uh, like I said, since this thing is kind of so long, there's not really a perfect stopping point for it. Um, but I think losing all my XP is fun. So there you go. <laughs> and remember, I think that you're a king. <laughs>